Hi guys, welcome back to another craft with me video. My name is Maggie. For those of you that are new, um, welcome and thank you for watching. Um, today we're going to kind of um, go back to what I did on the last craft with me that we did, which are these and these we called them the altered plain cards with doors. And so all I did here was cut out a frame and cut out the middle we put hinges and we used these little um, gadgets and they're actually called frame turn buttons and so these are what you actually use like the back of a frame to keep the back side on to keep the picture in place and so that's what these are but these actually come with brads and uh, i bought these on the craftilier website and they do have them on sale right now they do have uh, different colors i believe i saw white pink mint and then these this antique bronzy color and so that's where i got these but when i first showed these i had originally showed this little project and so this was my original idea but then it kind of turned into this and i had a few comments saying that they wished that i would have um just kind of stuck with this one to show this one too. So that's what we're gonna do today, but we're just gonna put a little bit of a spin on it. I'm not gonna do them double-sided. Um, we're just gonna keep them one-sided. And, but let's, let's go ahead and go into this project because I did feel after I recorded it, I did feel like, you know, this was a little bit of a teaser. So maybe I shouldn't have shown this one <laughs> first, um, but we are going to go ahead and work with this one. So you are going to need your acetate and you are going to need your playing cards. Now, with all of these that I made, I did make them with a 3 8 of an inch frame. That's what I cut all around. And so I went ahead and I just cut them because I've already done that part. Um, on the on the original um, video I'll link this video down below if you haven't seen it yet but that's that's all we're doing so just to kind of get away from having to do it again um, I just went ahead and did them so what we are going to do though is we're going to cut your acetate any type of plastic this is I believe this is part of a sheet protector that I'm using so we're just going to cut them down to size because as I mentioned in the previous video these cards are different sizes so that's kind of a rule of thumb so if you can see this one is thinner and taller and let's see if these are a little bit the same no these are a tad bit bigger so there you have it so always um, kind of be, if you're gonna mass make, you might wanna do from the same um, stack of cards, the set, and instead of kind of alternating like I did. But we're just gonna go ahead and measure out some of these so that I could see where I need to cut them. And just you just need one little piece for each. And I'm just gonna lightly measure out where I need to cut and then we can keep them all together so let me get my little cutter out and then get this cut down so I'm just gonna cut it just to where I need it so I'm gonna just do that and then we'll cut it this way And see if that was enough I could just rip that little piece off so there's that one I'll keep that one there and then let's mark this and move this out of the way again and see if this is enough yeah okay so we'll do this one here and just again all we're gonna be doing is marking you want to give it enough space to where it's going to um, get a good grip on the uh, frame that you're using. So let's just go ahead and cut this. And then we'll cut down this way. Yeah. I have 
two marks there, so I wasn't sure which one is which. But there's this one. And then the last one. These should be fairly easy, only because we've already kind of um, gone over how these are made. So, again, one more time. I decided that we're just going to do them up just a little bit different. And about here. So let's cut this down. And then I'm not sure if this is going to be enough. Let's see. There it is. Let me just cut this little piece off and this part is done. Okay, we can get rid of this stuff now. And if you wanna distress it, it's fine. All I did was use my little uh, Tim Holtz sanding disc, sanded it down, but because we're gonna be pretty much decorating the whole thing, uh, I think all I'm going to do is just distress the edges just so that I can um, ink it a little bit and I guess I should have done this before I cut them so that it's easier to grip but it's okay learn from my mistakes <laughs> And you do want them double-sided. So just so that you'll have something to sandwich the acetate in. And so that's why we have two pieces. And then you just decide which one you want to use for the front. So I'm technically not going to do much to these, just distressing the outside the outer edge. So, just so that you don't have to watch me do all of them. We're just gonna do one for now. Let me clean this out of the way. Getting all those little specks out. And then we'll distress it. Just inking the edges. Let me get a little bit more ink on this. Ooh, I shook my desk pretty hard there. Yeah. I like it when it kind of cuts into it a little bit. It just kind of gives it a cool look. So let's do this again. I keep saying that I need to re-ink Now I'm thinking, what if we did, what if we did it like this, to where one side is this one and then this is the back side. That's actually probably better, let me see. Yeah, let's do that. So let's, yeah, we'll just use this side. Because with this one, what I did was I put them both. But we'll try to pretend like if it's just the front and back, which might be better. So all we're going to do is be sandwiching these in the middle here. And if they're not exactly, it's not a big deal. We're going to decorate it anyways. So it's not, it's not really going to show. And so all we're going to do here is I'm going to get my art glitter glue out. And... This is going to be the back, so I'm going to put it this way. So I'm going to glue it this side. And I know you can barely see this, but we're going to put this right on top. And then just make sure that it's glued down pretty well. And then we'll go along the edges again right on top 
and then sandwich it in. So I'll stand them up just to kind of get them even. And there we have our little window. Now for the fun part, decorating it. So I did decorate them originally with my um, the trims. So we're gonna do that again, only because I think it looks cool. So let's add, let's do this one that has a little bit of red. So again, these are just the Tim Holtz washi. Um, these are called the trims because they're so thin. This one I have to fix. And we'll just add the trim all around. It doesn't have to be perfect. Let me just find the end of this thing. Here it is. I love this one because it has numbers on it. You can see. So, and it actually says collect, which is super cool. Okay. Just go all the way around just to frame it. We'll cut off the edges that are sticking out. There. And let me get my little scissors for this. Did I keep them out? Oh, here. Duh. They're right in front of my face, of course. So all we're going to do is cut these. there so there's that and then now let's see do we want to put somebody here we can put them sitting on something I did use these which are just little pieces of um, wow what if we put her sitting on a little A little frame that might be cute like a swing we can put it like this that would actually look really cool wouldn't it we could do that but um, I got these from Timu and I need to remember to link these down below so I'll do that but I think this would be cute to kind of have her sitting in the frame like that. And remember, we're not going to do both sides, so it's just the front. If you want to do both sides, go ahead and do that. Just make sure that you have something um, covering the back when you do double sided. But I think we're going to do this. I think that looks cute. So let's just glue around here. Get my tweezers. And we'll put it about here. And then I think I might get my field notes out because I want maybe like a little butterfly or something on the top. These are the snippets, so these are the little, the little ones. Or maybe some flowers next to her. Ooh, yeah, I like that. But I think it goes this way. So, Let's go ahead and put this here. And then maybe a little butterfly over here. That would look cute. So let's see. I have this little guy. Mm, I think I need something that stands out just a tiny bit more. 
How about this one? We'll put that one there. Can you believe that I'm not inking them? I know, crazy, right? But we'll put this here. And then we'll put her. Very cute. I like that. Wait, I don't need to put some on her feet. No. So don't put on her feet. And then we'll sit her here. Cute. Let me get... I did put a little bit too much around her head. And I did notice that, but... See, there's that. Isn't that cute? Now, I think we can put something right at the top. What if we put this little bug? Cute. We'll put the bug there. See? There it is. Now, what we can do is add a little charm because you know your girl needs to add charms for everything but i'm going to get out my my mini brads do i no we're gonna do the big the big circle so we'll do that here right at the edge we might get into that no oh not bad i thought i was gonna get into that little um bug but I'm going to use, these are all my Craftelier brads. I recommend them highly. And we'll put this here. Isn't that cute? Okay. I have, to, I, have to see, I have to stop saying that. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? Even though it is, but. <laughs> now I was thinking for this, because look what I did. So I used the little extra pieces that were in the middle and I just use my little hole punch to make these little things. Aren't they cute? So we're making little charms to go with our stuff. Wait, let me see. I need to get one that's kind of more this color. See? Maybe we'll do these and punch these out. See how these look. See? We'll punch a couple out. We can actually do both. So let's do that. So I thought this might be fun to add like little charms to the side. And I am going to be using these little things, which are the ball chains. And it has the little connector thing on it. Let me just get out my cutters because these are going to be way too long. Okay, but in the meantime, I am going to use my smaller hole punch. I think I'm going to do it off to the side. Yeah, so we'll do these two. Do this off to the side. So I am going to need my small brads. I mean, not my small brads, my small eyelets. Wait. Those are not it. These. Now, people have been asking where, where do I get these. I actually got these a long time ago at Hobby Lobby when they were still selling them. So I don't know. They're not, I don't know. I don't know why they're not selling them anymore, but they're not. But we're going to, let me switch this over. And do these. Oh, but these are not going to fit my ball, my ball chain, is it? Nope, I'm going to have to use something else. That's okay. I just didn't want to have to make a bigger hole in these. But I do have 
these that were left over from my other tags, the key ring tags. So what if we put them on here? Put them on here and then let them dangle there. That's kind of cute, right? And then add this to this. Let's see how that'll work. I've never done this before, so we're trying something new just to kind of use up what we have, right? So that nothing goes to waste. Oh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I like it. That's cute. So there it is. Yep. Very cute. So there's one. Okay. Let's move on. Let's move let's make another one. Let's move the let's move these out of the way. Move this, move this. Okay. Now, let's see. Let's do this one. Where's the acetate to this? Oh, there it's. Okay. Let's do this one. Now, this one was already distressed because I had done that one the last time. So we'll just leave it. And then, no, maybe we shouldn't leave it because I don't want to have to distress the back. So this is what we're going to do. We're doing it this way. We're going to put the 10 in the front. And leave this in the back unless okay let's go ahead and distress it just just so that just so that um, you could see what it would look like so let's just distress this side so you don't if you don't have the sanding disc just use a small um, piece of sanding paper or something. They do have little sanding pads at Hobby Lobby. That works really well too. Okay. Now let's go ahead and ink this. Let me do it here. See that? Let me just sand the edges down and then we'll just ink the edges, make it match. Because that's what I do with the front side or this one. So let's just go ahead and do this. Okay. And then I just love how dark it gets, the edges, after you sand them down. So this is just another look. So we'll do grunge on this one. Let me put this down. Okay, so we're gonna do it this way then. Okay. And let's get our piece of acetate. Make sure that this is the right one since we did cut a few. Yep. So let me go ahead, wait. I need to clean this off because I hate to feel the the sandiness on my desk. So let's put this here. Try not to put too much. You don't want it to kind of seep through on the other side. Okay, so there's that. And then put a light layer right around the edge and put this on top so we can have our little sandwich. So 
So there's that. Pressing that down, make sure that it gets really well. And there you, there it is. I was gonna say, there you have it. There it is. Okay. Now, let's see how grungy we want this. First, let me check these out and see if there's something in here that I kind of want to focus on. Uh, let's see. These are kind of cool. I can actually take away a little bit of that white on here, grunge this up a little bit. Let's see, it goes this way. So I can put that here. We can put it on this side. And then let's see, let's get another, another person, see what we could put. And last, let's put it down here and then we can put this guy sitting on it. How does that look? Looks like he's supposed to be leaning on something though. I hate to have to add more. So let's see. I know we have plenty of guys sitting. Let's see if these work. <laughs> uh, they look funny, but it works. Look at that. We could do that. And then, let's see, what else do we have in here? Uh, what? What is that? <laughs> it wouldn't pigs flight. <laughs> That's funny. That actually would be kind of cute if we had like a little, a little mini paper doll maybe sitting on this one. That would be funny. Okay, let's keep going and see what else. What is that? Hmm. No. Uh, let's see. Anything else I wanna use? Don't see anything. That's like a hinge. I actually put a brad in it because I thought it looked cute. So, um, all right, let's just keep that for now. So let's go ahead and put this right there on the corner and then we'll set the, the guys on top. So we'll put this here. And then let me just get rid of some of this white. and then sit them right on top. And let's see, about there. We didn't put a border around this one, did we? Should we still do that? Let's see which one do we want to use. Um, maybe the measuring. Let's just do the measuring. This is like a measuring tape. We can work around it. I should have done this before, so I think I got too excited. I wanted to hurry up and put them on. Ooh, yeah, this is gonna look cool. Pretty easy peasy.
Yeah, that looks really cool. Let's get this. And then we'll just put a little piece here. And just to kind of cut this little part out, you just lightly get your craft knife and peel that off. Come on. There it goes. There. Okay. So there's that. Nice. Okay. Any little extra pieces? Fold it over. Just little corners. Okay. Let's see. What else? Mm. Do we want to put anything else on it? What else can we put? We do want to put the little dangle thing. That's for sure. So let's go ahead and add that. <clears throat> So we'll put that here and let's see did I get any of these is that what these are I think so we might need to sand these down a little bit just so that we could grunge them and it matches the same vibe as the rest of as the rest of it so let's put these I think these are it. Um, wait, no. It's supposed to be the red back. Yeah, these. Okay, we'll put this, these two like this. just ink these up a little bit and then we can add our little charms here yeah that looks good okay now let's go ahead and add these put this off to the side and this one yeah, we're doing it this way. This one doesn't matter where we put it. And then get these little guys. Let's do this matted silver. Okay. Put these in. one and get the little key ring thing here oh wait we need to put let me switch this back over I need an eyelet for this do I have no. Let me get a silver one. I'll put this black. It's like a pewter color. This will work. Okay, now we can put in the little charms. So let's put this one in first, then this one. Oops, come on, there you go. Right there, there it is. Okay, and then we'll add this here.
let's put um do i want anything else on it because that looks kind of cool already let's see if i have any snippets here that we can maybe add Um, this is kind of, this is kind of cool. We could add that on the bottom. It says boots. Some type of ad or something. So let's put this on the bottom. We'll put it right here. It's going to cover one of his feet, but that's okay. I just think it'll look cool. There. And your little charms. Okay, let's do one more. Let's put this back. And let's do one that's a little bit more colorful. I wanted to use something with my botanicals. So let's try that, see how that looks. So we're not going to grunge this one. Where is the other set of this? Here it is. So let's do, should we do the king side? Yeah, you know why? Because with the color on it, that might look really pretty. So let's see, let's just put this down first. Put this here. And then put a lighter, whoops, I went off the thing. A lighter strip around so that we can put the top part. Wipe that down. Okay. Cool. Okay. So now, let's see. Um, do we want to punch maybe his face out or something? Let's see how that's going to look. Where's my punch? Is this it? No, that's the bigger one. Oh, here it is. Let's see how this looks if we punch out his face. <laughs> let's do that. And yeah, I guess we'll use these two. That'll look cool. Okay. And let's see here. What do we want to use? Ooh. Ooh, wouldn't that look cool? Let's see. Do I have a smaller one? But that actually looks really neat. I like the way that looks. Now I want to make more. There's this we can put here. No, I want to put it here so you can see the king over there. But I kind of like the red rose, right? Let's see, do I have something smaller? Wow, we have birds. How about this one? I like that. I like the way it's kind of more for the the edge. You know what I mean? Yeah. I like that. Let's see. Do we want to put maybe a butterfly? I think these butterflies might be too big, though. Oh, I have this one that's a little bit smaller. Kind of like the rose, right? Put it maybe... Like that. Which one do we like better? I could cut it off so that this is at the very bottom. But I do want like a butterfly. I have this. It might be too big. 
think these butterflies are way too big. I have this one that's a little bit smaller. Is it smaller or not? Actually, it kind of matches. Is it too matchy-matchy? Maybe put this one with that one. So that it's kind of off. Put it like that. I like it. I think that that really looks pretty. Maybe we should put it this way so we still have room or I can actually hang it from the butterfly. What do we think? Just to kind of have something different, right? I'm not going to grunge it. Let's just put it on because I think it looks pretty. So let's put this uh, like that. Should we cut off the edges? Let's cut it off. I want it to look a little bit more clean, but we'll let the butterfly kind of hang out just so that it doesn't look like so much is hanging around. So let's cut these off. last little piece oh yeah much better let's move these clean that little piece off and then we can put the butterfly here and maybe have it dangle there Let's see. Let me just check just check to make sure that I don't have a smaller butterfly. So let me see. I have this little bird. That looks cute too. What else? Oh, I have this one. This one's smaller. Just trying to see. I like that. It kind of matches better, right? I'm just looking to see. I have this one. No, we'll keep that one. We'll do that. Just to kind of give you different ideas on what you can put. Let's see. I'm going to put it like this, so just not the tips of the wings. So we'll do it here and about here, and then put that here. Cute! Look at that! I like it! Let's just clean off this little piece here with the glue. And then maybe we can add the little dangle over here, right? Or do we leave it as is? No, let's put the dangle. Let's make it look like if it's part of the wing. So let's use a black little one. Or gold. Let's do gold. I think the gold will look pretty there. Let me switch this back. Switch this. And then we need the little holes on these. Oops, darn it. That one didn't work. Let's do this one. I put it too close to the edge. And here. We'll use 
maybe white ones. I don't use the white ones very often. So let's do white. And then we'll get another one of the little key rings and put it in. Wrong one. And then we can add it here. So depending on what's, what style project you're working on or whatever. Oh, cute. Yeah. There it is. All right. So let's see. Let's see all of them that we made. Cute. I need to add a charm to that one. But look at how cute these are. So Again, as always, I always love to know which one is your favorite. So make sure that you let me know in the comments down below. And there it is. I hope you guys like them. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see them better. Are they cute? So there it is, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this project. These were a lot of fun to make, and I'm glad that... Um, you guys were actually wanting to see how these were made so there they are so thanks again don't forget to like subscribe share all that jazz and i will see you guys in the next video thanks guys bye